Hey everyone, welcome once again to Billy Bob Trucking, or Let's Drive ETS2. Uh, this is episode 3? Three? 3? Yeah, sounds about right. But yes, first things first, Happy New Year. Yes, the first one of these I've recorded of the New Year. And I get myself, let myself get distracted because I keep looking at the wrong screen. But yes, I'll just turn the music down a bit more than last time um, because I noticed it's a bit loud so anyway let's continue uh, last time we left it uh, Billy Bob at uh, 1343 XP uh, 1.7 rating and his company of Billy Bob trucking was worth 20,000 euros so let's pick up a new job and let's earn some more money okay so uh, let's have a look I could earn some more money by doing more Christmas gifts hmm maybe maybe not let's see hmm. that's quite a long distance journey uh, let's see drawn into Dresden in a Volvo Joe oh, I might take the Volvo at this time Another seven thousand euros. I could have got fourteen thousand for that, but I just fancy something a bit different. So let's take this job. Oh, it's raining. So make sure I get my lights on. Uh, don't think there's any roof or front auxiliaries on this. No, but I do want beacons. And let's show sure my seats back. So, let's have a quick glance at my stuff. That's ah, very dark. Very dark and noisy. We'll have a glance when I've got through to daylight. Um, can I just... Is it round here? I've got a feeling it is. Just keep turning it, turning it, turning it. There we go. And we can get out of this wood yard, which is nice. So yes, Happy New Year. Um, I hope you had a good New Year. I had a fun one. <laughs> um, basically getting drunk with in-laws, which is fun. <laughs> um, yeah, getting drunk with in-laws and then being evacuated from a hotel at stupid o'clock in the morning due to people setting off a fire alarm. Which is, uh, yeah, never good. But yeah, I hope, um, let me know what you did for your New Year's. Anything, did you do anything fun at all? Uh, how's if I get on the right side of the road? I've just been trying out a new mod, which is UK only, and I've been driving a lot in the UK today. Um, so I keep finding myself going to the left-hand side of the road, which is wrong. But yeah, whoops. And I'm speeding as well. Huh. Oh, let's just take this turn. I think it's coming. And it stopped raining, which is nice. So this job's going to take apparently seven hours in game time. Just over seven hours. Hopefully a lot less than that. Um, reminders, that I've got it. So police is on... Um, Fatigue is on, speed restrictors off. If I remember correctly. And that's what it is. So, yeah. I kept some of the simulation in there and took bits out. And obviously, I've left traffic on. Because, why not? But, yeah. Night time in this game. Hmm. You do find yourself having to do the night shift every so often in this game. It can be a problem. Because driving in this view with these lights, unless you have like extra lights and stuff, when you can't see a bloody thing, can get quite annoying. And it's almost impossible to overtake. Oh shit. Didn't see that one come in until it was almost too late then. So you find yourself having to do this a lot, 
which means you can see things. But then you get flashed at by other drivers. And it's not very realistic to do this all the time when you've got a guy just in front of you. So yeah, they, they need to fix something about this. About this lack of lights issue. Or brightness. Because the transitional effects from day to night and stuff are just absolutely awesome. When you're in high graphic settings, that is. Just a, it's like a sub note there. I've done it. I've played this game way too long on the low settings, so I know how bad it can look on them sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, it can be absolutely stunning. The transitions. I'm just trying to think. Did I have my new keyboard? Hmm. On the last video. I can't remember. It's very clicky. That's one thing I am going to say, though. My God, is it clicky? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, actually, come think of it, I'm trying to think of the timelines and stuff. And no, I don't think I did. And now I've got myself um, Razor Black Widow 2014 Ultimate Edition, which is ironic. The Ultimate Edition has less bells and whistles than the Black Widow 2014 something edition. It's basically the 10 key mechanical uh, with 5 macros without backlighting. Because basically I didn't see the point in paying the extra 20, 30 pounds for the backlighting, to be honest. Let's get these high beams on just so I can see if it's coming the other way. Nope. I'm going to go for the overtake then. Oh dear, that's not good. I was not expecting that then. Oh well, that's me getting punished with that. I'm not going to do a, a reload this time because that was my fault. And I forgot that SES did this. At late at night, in, t in a city, traffic lights just flash yellow. To be brutally honest, I thought that was a thing that only uh, the multiplayer did. I didn't realise SES had actually brought that in themselves. Which is a cool feature. Oh, come on. Look. I'm behind the line. Front wheels. Behind the line. How is that? A fineable offence. Bloody thing. That's me getting trolled. Big time. Hmm, oh well. Live and learn, I have to put up with it. I'm trying, I felt bad for what I did. Oops, I don't care. I felt bad for what I did last time when I uh, did a reload of the autosave. So now I've, I've kind of mentally said to myself I'm going to try my best to not do that again. Um, the only time I'll do that is if it's a severe special situation. But the odd little red light effects and stuff, I'm not going to do that for. Because I'm going to play it as realistic as most people would. I mean, I feel good that I actually told you that trick. In case you wanted to know it. It's useful to know, because sometimes you do just get trolled hard by the game. There's not much you can do about it. Ah. Uh, so let's have a look. What time is it in game? It's 1:55. In due for, so due at 7 a.m. So I might get to see a bit of this in daylight. Be nice. But then again, I am tempted to see if. Let's have a look. Ooh, no trailer damage from that impact. Nice. In theory, I could take a rest. Hmm. Nothing coming that way. Nothing coming that way. In theory, I could take a rest. And so just drive in daylight then. I am tempted to do that. Depends when the next rest stop is, where it is. Plus, you sleep for eight. Uh, so be, yeah, I've got enough time to do it. 
Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to think about that. Which is what I'm actually going to do about it. Trying to see if I can. S also, I'm trying to figure out a point where I can make a cool um, thumbnail for the video. <laughs> I didn't think about it in the last one, so if you notice in the last two videos that I put up, um, the thumbnail's a bit sketchy. Uh, you know, like the um, the sat nav is still there, so I'm trying to kind of disguise it by putting the episode number over the top of them. Yeah, I really need to rethink that. <laughs> oh dear. Put up some nice speed right now. We're in a no overtake zone. Or oh, an advisable overtaking zone. And not yet found a parking spot. Well, a rest station. Which is not good. Yeah, I really could do a funny one. I must admit, as well, I do like the Volvo interiors. Even at night time, when there's not much really to see. They are very nice. They seem just nicely laid out. And get the information you want from the screens, quite clearly. And I see a petrol station with possible rest stops, so... Let's go and aim for that and see if we can do a sleep and get some daylight. We do the journey in daylight because that'd be nice. Let's park alongside this other truck. I'm not going to stop for fuel. For okay, let's put it into sleep. So we now get 11 a.m. I have nine hours remaining on the job, and I'm three hours away. So yeah, definitely make it, no problems. Let's just back out of this. Oop. Try not to take out the forecourt. Okay. Yeah, and I'm trolling the AI. Get some revenge on it. Hey, finally get some daylight driving. So yeah, let's have a look at the proper look at the inside of this Volvo. It's quite handsome inside. Not too garish. Yeah. Obviously, this is the low cab. The moment it's not a full high cab, so I don't know if the sunroof. I can't remember if it comes in the the tall cab version. I think it does. But yeah, oh, and I've just remembered. I was going to put that link in the video description, the last one, but I forgot of the um, price spreadsheet for trucks, which is now out of date. Yeah, I forgot about that. I will update that at some point. And I will put that in the video description when it's updated. Just probably not anytime soon. Uh, see how far we got left. We've got 3 hours 27 in game. And I'm going as fast as I can. Which is nice. Nice and chill driving. It's always good. And what's up getting like 7,000 euros for this? So, current rate, I'm going to need a few more, quite a few more jobs. I'm only doing like the 7,000 euros at a time jobs. Um, if I'd been sticking to the long 10,000 euro jobs, you know, I could have a truck in about, <laughs> about 10, 11 jobs. I could own my own truck. Um, but, you know, I'm just because I'm trying to see if I can get it to just two journeys of video for now. Um, I'm obviously not taking as much 
income as I could do. So, yeah, I'm going to be ending up taking a long way around. Still not decided exactly what truck I'm going to go for as a first. Um, part of me is thinking of possibly looking at the Euro 6 NAF. Um, but I don't know yet. I'll make that decision when I come to it, to be honest, and what I can afford. And also what truck dealers have discovered. Uh, I might end up buying a cheap Scania. Which, there isn't really much in the way of cheap Scanias, to be honest. <laughs> it's kind of realistic to real life, that is, that Scanias are not cheap. Come on, climb the hill. I don't know what size engine I've got on this thing. Ooh, thumbnail. Must remember that as well. So, yes. New Year 2015. What is your hopes for this year? I mean, my hopes is to give my YouTube channel a kick up the arse that it needs. I'm hoping to do videos a lot more regular. Now I've got a rig that can cope with it. <laughs> Be nice. Um, oh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh no, I'm okay. I'm okay. He's pulling away now. I was very worried I was about to get trolled then. Yeah. My hope is to, yeah, give me a YouTube channel a bit of a kick at the backside. Um, and my Twitch channel kick of the backside it kind of needs as well I mean my Twitch I'm up to 19 20 followers um, obviously there's the plan to give away games when I hit 100 followers so I'm I'm slowly on the way to that and I really wish I can get past this lot to be honest But yeah, I'm hoping to make some more YouTube content. Um, make you aware at the moment, yes, there is adverts on them. Know that money if those adverts are not coming to me at the moment. They are currently going to YouTube. Uh, YouTube are messing around with my AdSense application. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll be messing around for much longer. And then if you would please then watch the vid the annoying adverts enough you will be directly supporting me then which is nice nice thing to know and useful for me and I'm waiting 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 uh, I'm not going to risk it I was going to see if I'm not risking it but it's too move it's a bit of a blind crest there did not fancy trying it there. Now I can see down the road. I'm going for it. One. Two. See if I can do it. See if I can do it. All three. Nice. Obviously, you should be patient and just go with the flow and drive with them. <laughs> Whoever does that. <laughs> but yeah, so my hope is, as I say, to get more videos up. Um, not just Euro Truck. Um, plans are to do videos of various games. Um, I, I mean, and stream various games. I mean, at the moment, I'm doing a lot of War Thunder streaming. And just because I've decided to do some grinding in that. Um, but yeah, I've got some other games I'm hoping to stream at some point. i just got to get around to doing them. And also to record some YouTube videos of as well. So yeah. Um, I mean, there's one game that I've got recently that I suggest everyone gets. Um, that's fucking annoying because it's so hard to do. And that's um, Nerd Cube's system no systems nominal. My God, is that game hard? 
Unless you're a touch typist. Then you might be okay. But my god, is it hard. <laughs> Let's go for it. In it for a biscuit. And I'm doing it. Got the overtake done. Nice. Um, many of the things I'm possibly thinking of doing is um, some videos where the multiplayer uh, maybe just arranging for some convoys and stuff and saying to people, you know, do you want to meet up? Um, I'll at some point rent a TeamSpeak server so people can join in um, or borrow. I know people who got some that I may possibly be able to borrow. Um, and we'll just all jump in and go for a nice long convoy drive um, for as long as we're willing to and I'll make it into a big long video and we'll just talk about stupid topics and stuff so yes, yeah, another thought I'm thinking of doing but yes, and I have not got long left on this journey thank god this journey's almost over, and it's taken over 20 minutes already, and my god, that was close. That's what I get for looking away. And not paying attention. Uh, come on. Okay, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. There we go. <sighs> come over the hill to find a van driving very slowly. Okay, we're just about to pull into we'll just on the outskirts of Dresden. And I managed to get the discovery claim on Dresden, which is nice. Just thought let's part this up nicely. See if I can get my, uh, my thumbnail done now. There we go. Now yeah, save the screenshot. But the plan is to actually do what I've done before, which is get it from the video. Uh, so I need that, that, that. No, wrong one. That's the one. So that's my, my thumbnail done. Oh, handbrake off, maybe an idea. And there we go. I think, yep, just leveled up again. She's nice. So while you're in these early levels, just keep piling it into long distance. You'll be thankful. The more and more you pile into long distance, the longer and longer jobs you will get. I mean, at the moment I can do deliveries up to 850 kilometers. Uh, plus I get an extra 15% for doing long distance journeys or journeys over 550 kilometers uh, which was the rank 2 rating uh, obviously the next rank I can get a thousand kilometers and then rank 6 I get the whole of Europe which is nice so that's that one done at the moment I'm now at 27,000 and uh, 25 minutes recording, let's start it. Well, 20 minutes, 24 minutes ish. Uh, let's try and find myself a big money job. So I can go for an Iveco. Get myself a bit of England. Uh, that gives me, that gives me 6,000. That's going to give me 9,000. 
Mm, it's just basically ferry. Hmm. At least it's a different type of uh, trailer unit as well, I think. Hmm. Let's think, let's think, let's think. Ah, uh, so let's take Iveco. What's it? Uh, Iveco. Uh, 16 tons of digger. Uh, sugar. Definitely lots of heavy haulage at the moment. But let's take it. I have new mail. Which I'll just actually get rid of while I can. And the bank has just increased my credit limit to 500,000 euros. Yet again. I'm going to avoid taking it yet. I just want to minimise how much I'm borrowing. So, let's have a look at this thing. Oh, it's a front loader. Alright, listen, gobos. Wrong button. There we go. And let's get going. Don't know what size engine this thing's got. Soon find out. I suppose if it's powerful one enough. Powerful enough one or not. Uh, uh, two matching cars. This interior is revolting though. And it looks like I'm going to Europe port. Little tip for you if you play multiplayer, avoid Europe port. <laughs> you will be thankful that I said that to you. Because my god, traffic there is bad. And trolling is very, very bad. Ah, not too bad a horn. I need to do my special key binding. I might show you how to do that at some point. I've got a special key binding that basically when I hit for uh, air horns, which is N, oh sugar, and then you get air horns, which obviously aren't attached to this. I also get truck horn and I get flash of lights, which is nice. So, yeah, I wonder what these key binds are going to do. Oh, I can see that view. So I've assigned those macros for another game and I weren't sure if they were still active and they are. So yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Make sure I don't touch them by mistake. Uh, come on. Oh, merging. Sorry Van, I'm cutting you off. There we go. And this truck hasn't got Rosada, which is not nice. Oh, it's me not paying enough attention then. I was just trying to figure out if this thing had retarder on it, but it doesn't appear to. This is weird seeing your report like this because I'm used to seeing it in the multiplayer. But it is literally mayhem around here. And let's just slowly bring it in. Let's have a look at it.
Eh, bit of an ugly truck. But anyway, decided it was time to have a look. Uh, we want to go to Harwick. Not sure if this travel is going to be covered by the employer. Uh, that's a problem. I wasn't thinking it to be dark. Yeah. 15 hours. Next rest stop in 10. So I'm going to have to do rest anyway. So I'm best just drive until rest. I should only. What? Oh, it's, that's the ETA. Ah, oh, okay. I was misreading that then. All oh, right. Now I got an to drive on the left hand side. Oh, traffic light. Let's have a look at it in the dark. Yeah. Boring. Looks boring because of that angle. Now to trick this out with lights, because it's not my truck. Right, what's my speed around here? 97 k's. About to go to a 30 mile an hour zone, so that's 48 k's. Yeah, that cruise control. When in doubt, hit the cruise control. Didn't even bother checking. Whoops. I can speed up to 64 k's now. Woo! Oh no, back down to 48. me. Oh no, back at 64 now. Jesus Christ, make your mind up. So yes, looks like I'm doing a night shift on this one. But I should be getting a nice amount of pay for this job as well. Which is it's all good. It's all good, y'all. So, I should technically be in a 60 zone here. 60 mile an hour zone. But I'm not. Because I'm a truck. Ah, yes, truck speed limit around this zone is 64 apparently. Ks. And it's a 60 mile an hour zone. But anyway. Uh, national speed limit. And I'm still stuck to 64. Which technically I'm breaking the speed limit on. Ah, 97. There we go. And I mean the most gutless truck there is. Oh my god, this thing has no guts. Come on. Pull, damn you, pull. Flush him. Strike. Oh, sorry. I just suddenly thought that's not a good idea in case anyone's epileptic. Sorry about that. So, into Britain. The only time in the game where you'll get weird ass speed limits. If you're driving in K's, because it's very different, obviously, to Europe and um, Europe. You know, they'll do it round off to the nearest 5 or 10 kilometers per hour. UK, obviously, use rounds off to the nearest 5 or 10 miles per hour. Which leaves you in weird mixtures of kilometres where you get this 97 kilometre per hour speed limit. 
And let's just drop down to a 50 zone. With a crew with speed camera, of course, because it's the UK. We love our speed cameras. I think I may have just passed it. Yeah, because I'm about to go back at the national speed limit, which is nice. The trick I learnt with this game is that basically if you are in the UK and you get taken off the national speed limit, which is the white board with the black line through it, if you get taken off that, that normally means that there's going to be a speed camera waiting for you. So just be prepared. Come on. My driver's not shown as tired yet, which is interesting. When did I pick up damage? Uh oh. Next rest up in nine. 20 hours to finish the job. Do you know what? I'm going to park up. Daylight driving. Normally I would just drive for the night shift because you can keep. There's less traffic around, it's more efficient. But it doesn't quite work for videos. So let's take a rest. Will I take a drink? Put the side lights on a little bit and back her up. All right, here we go. Okay, pulling out. That's very unrealistic compared to the way UK um, motorways and A roads are with petrol stations, to be honest. Normally, there is a bit of a slip road for you to be able to cut speed before you rejoin the main carriageway. Um, they haven't simulated that in this, which is a shame. But yeah, and something else I'm just going to do with this. I am looking to thinking about, well, I'm thinking about making a map mod. For this, in which I'm thinking of making the Silverstone racetrack for you to take your trucks to and just drive around for shits and giggles. Would that be something that people are interested in? If I do, because I mean, it's going to take me time obviously to learn the map editor system and everything and how it all works, but I think it would be something that'd be pretty cool to see, to be honest. You, know, you go and drive around Silverstone. In your truck, yeah, I look into uh, possibly even setting up as a delivery point, so you would have a delivery that could have, that will go to the race track, which would be cool. Um, <clears throat> but I see, uh, obviously, I need to learn how it all works, how you program it, and stuff. But yeah. I just think it was something cool that you could do, just drive around Silverstone. It's one of the few places, uh, I'll try my best to make sure there's no speed restrictions on it. So you literally could just take it unlimited and just take go f health leather with your truck around the circuit. And I just accidentally clicked my button. I said this keyboard is meant to be heavy, no medium weight, medium to heavy keys. And yet it's like they're like kind of hair trigger. Just a, so amazing. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Come on. I don't want Dave Rexit. Let's get in the right lane. Uh, I don't want London either. 
Unless I want Southampton. Come on. Alright. Take this back over to this lane. Another question for you. As well. Is there any games you particularly want like to see me play? Uh I mean, obviously, there's, there's, there's a list of games I own. Um, admittedly, because I used to be a cheapskate, there's a lot of my games are free to play stuff. <laughs> I.e., World of Tanks, um, War Thunder. Uh, I did, for a short while, try World of Warplanes, and very quickly decided I made a mistake and gave it in. My god, that thing is bad. Especially considering it's War Thunder. Comparing it to War Thunder. Oh, no. Wrong lane. But yeah, I just wonder if there's any other games you may want to see me play. Um, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, because I mean, I've just obtained a copy of. Um, Mine goes blank. Farming Simulator 2015 or Farming Simulator 15, um, which I'm contemplating doing a video on, just doing like a first look, which I know is a bit late because the game's been out for a while. But yeah. Uh, also, a look at a proper actual video of Systems Nominal, just because it's such a good game made by a YouTuber, which is cool. I've got my speed down before the speed camera then. Which is nice. There we go. Through the speed camera nicely. And this is my exit I need. Um, but yeah, Citizens Nominal. Which is a, a totally free game. That Nerd Cube um, has made. And he's put on it. Feel free to make as many videos as you want about it, monetize it any way you want. I don't care. Just don't try and make money by selling the game, which is totally fair enough because he wants the game to be free as, as free as possible, which is cool. Um, he's got me thinking about possibly looking to make my own games as well, which would be cool. Um, I just need to look into how to do it because, like I said, I've seen a looking into making a mod for this, you know, a map mod I need to look into it, I need to research it I mean there's certain things I want to look into, to do this anyway there's certain things to do with the APIs uh, that I'd like to look into if I could and do some really cool um, internet stuff you know, whether it be like um, um, a, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? My mind keeps going blank. Um, like a telemetry thing. Ooh, I need to pay attention where I'm driving. Uh, a telemetry thing, so you know, you could have a web page open. Or you could perhaps have it as part of a signature. You could say that you currently are driving, you're currently doing X miles an hour or kilometers per hour. Um, you due to rest in X amount of time. Blah 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 blah. I'd like to do that stuff if I could because that'd just be cool. Um, but I need to research it, need to look into it because I know there is a telemetry API there. Um, and the thing is, to use it, I'd have to write a uh, a uh, application to run alongside to send the date out so um, yeah that's going to take a lot of research to be honest and I'll get down a bit too much then but I will this doesn't get caught by SP cameras but yeah you know it'd just be like an application you run in the background whenever you play uh, it reports to a web server what you're doing you know how fast you're driving of me 
and stuff and yeah it will then can update a signature or just update a web page with a speedo you know uh, you could I don't know that have it on a twitch stream the potential excuse me the potential possibilities are kind of semi endless for that but yeah again as I say it just needs me to look into it and look into how to make it I mean I'm sure there's a way to do it but I just gotta find it <laughs> but that's a plan for this year to possibly look into doing that as well and learn a new programming language it'd be an excuse for me to learn something like C or C sharp or whatever you want to call it I mean, I am a PHP developer by trade. That is my job. There we go. Let's take it up to 80. And I can bring the speed up again. Yay! Yeah, my main job is a PHP developer. Um, but being a developer, I also like to learn other languages. And it would give me an excuse to learn another one, to be honest. Which would be cool. Uh, I hope this is the exit I need. Yes, it is. But it's whether people find it useful or not. I mean, I possibly may do. May find uses for it. Um, even if I just learn the C, C sharp, or C plus, or whatever. Um, and make the application that reports to some and there's probably people data so they can do whatever they want with it I think that'd just be a cool thing for me to make so yeah I'll look into that so I've got plans for the next year of what to do uh, opportunities and ideas have opened up because of the fact that I have brought this new PC which is more powerful than the old one and can do things I like record 47 ish minutes of video of me yapping on while I'm just driving a truck. It can cope, which is shocking. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I need to figure out as well. Does anyone know what codec you need to upload to YouTube in to get full 1080 60? Anyone know? So I just thought if you just upload footage that's 1080 60, it just recognises it, but it doesn't seem to want to recognise the codec that I've used, which is a bit annoying. Any ideas? If you have any ideas, yet again, let me let me know in the comments down below. I'm sounding like a broken record now, aren't I? But then again, don't worry. There's only like three hours left of this drive. And there's going to be speed limit, speed cameras around here somewhere. Because it's the UK, there's the speed camera warning. Alright, now I'm past that camera, like so. Right, and keep going with the overtakes. If I can. <gasps> oh, just saying that guy on the inside. That was a bit close. Luckily, I spotted him in the last possible second to avoid an accident. Technically, I'm speeding. But so is that coach in front of me. But I don't think the speed cameras necessarily do me for now. Because I'm kind of under the car limit. I don't think the speed cameras um, know the difference between car and truck. Necessarily in the game, which sounds silly to say. If 
it does. I'll be shocked. Sorry about that. Bit of a jump cut there. That's something I have to deal with. So yes, uh, what was I saying? Plans. Yes, plans. Things. Programs. Stuff like that. So lots of ideas. Any ideas you can make up with, just share them. Talk to each other. It's a strange con idea I notice. But you never know. You might like the idea. Not long left on this journey, thank God. I'm just gonna power through to the end. Oh, in the loosest sense of the term, power through with this underpowered truck. Uh, coach is pulling in there, so got me past him, which is nice. Uh, blind crest is always sketchy. I'm going for it though. Just be prepared to slam my brakes on the last second if need be. Keep looking ahead, keep looking ahead. I can do pull in. There we go. Past him as well. Come on. Get him. So, yes. I've got some ideas for games I want to possibly develop. Which, when I get into learning how to do, I will possibly try and do. Um, some game concepts of some kind of. Well, I know there's a bit of a vibe for people to retro at the moment, uh, but there's one type of retro that people don't seem to be doing. And I used to love, so um, that's one of the ideas I'm thinking of going for. I'm obviously not going to say what it is, in case then someone goes, "Oh yeah," and then beats me to it. <laughs> um, yeah, the only problem is I'm not very good at pixel art, and if it's retro style, you technically you should do pixel art. Yeah. I, I don't know about that bit. Uh, just cruised up to this guy. He's on UK plates, nicely. Come on. Give me over this hill. There we go. And uh, have I got a clear run? Yes, I have. She's all good. So, yeah, so far then, I've done it. Gonna be done. This would be my sixth job of this career. Um, see, I'm trying to think whether it's worth getting a truck or not. I mean, it's going to need a bank loan. And I've been saying keep going as long as you can. But there's just a thing called about owning your own truck. But then what truck is that to go for? Hmm. Hmm, trying to think whether to get a truck or now or not. I might do. I might. Uh, if I do, that'd be in the next video, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to think about it. Uh, so I could keep going on with the freight market. I mean, I've got enough, so if I took a small loan, the 100,000 euro loan, that I could get a truck. And then it's only the 100,000 euro loan. And obviously the truck comes with a full tank of petrol, diesel, fuel, gas, whatever I call it. So that's not an issue. It's, uh, hmm. I'm tempted. Tempted. Oh, come on. Because this thing's got no guts. <laughs> so I don't think necessarily I'm going to be buying an Aveco. I'm 
thinking I'm thinking DAF or MAN problem as I keep saying with MAN MAN's is same as this indicator speed so annoying I like the slightly faster indicator ironically the one company I'm saying not well yeah one company I've not really said anything about good or bad is uh, Majestic as they call it or what's very soon in a future update going to just actually be Mercedes um, I'm neither here nor there with air trucks in this game um, mm, it's, it's an odd one interiors look a bit yeah well that sounds a bit harsh they're not revolting but they're not amazing either they're just meh interiors um, trucks are not the best looking things in the world but that's just because literally they're trying to make them look like the real life Actros uh, and it's Actros and Across or something like that they're trying to make it look like them without looking like them too much so they get sued oh bring it down bring it right down to 48 so let's cruise at 47 excuse me while I take a drink <clears throat> Way I'm feeling today, I don't think I'm going to be doing the next video straight after. Let's cruise in. This is what respecting the speed limits is all about. <laughs> you have police turned on. I don't know why there was a lot of jarring then, because I was scratching my arm. I've said I do mouse steer, as I've said before, because I love it. It's a much better way of controlling, in my opinion. And there it goes, it's powering itself up the hill. It's a nice low range. If you pass these roadworks at some point, it'd be nice. Luckily, I'd gone past that road work before my truck decided to speed itself over the limit. I'd already passed the camera. Which is very lucky indeed. Ooh. But I can break on while I wait for the traffic lights. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Am I going to make the lights? Am I going to make the lights? No. And stop. Didn't try and do me that time. How close am I this time? Uh, similar ish. Not, not too close. Um. Oh, here we go. I still can't believe I got 1% damage from something. I can't remember what, though. I don't think it registered as damage earlier as well, which is what's annoying. And here's my delivery point. Stokes, wherever Stokes is. All right, let's back this bad boy up. Uh, 
almost missing it, so I need to overturn it. There we go. So, 7,979 euros for that, plus 359 euros for proficiency bonus, and 760 euros for long distance because it was over 500. Oh, yeah, it's over 550 kilometers, and you know, it was 521 driving kilometers. That's the point. And a 420, 402 euro fine for 1% damage. But it appears I have leveled up again. Have I? I think I have. And I think I've crashed at the same time. Have I? This is weird. Yeah, I think I might have actually crashed. Yes, I have. So, um, there's a chance I may have just lost that job. <laughs> Let me just uh, restart Eurotruck and find out. There we go. Uh, minimize that for now. Let's just get that back up again. Billy Bob trucking. I'm so close to finishing then. How far away was I? Well, I was only around the corner, so let's just throw and finish this off again. This happens sometimes when the game just randomly crashes on you. Might be able to park a bit better this time as well. <laughs> let's go and just finish off this job again. Just power it straight into Stokes. There we go. Okay. Let's forget the reverse at this time better. There we go. Much better. I think it's about the same amount, so I've got everything, so. There we go. Good. And I'm going to put it straight into long distance yet again. And apply. And there's the end of that one. Billy Bob trucking. With Billy Bob. He now has 36,000 euros. So, he's doing well. And he's got a 3.3 rating. With 2,655 XP. I'm in two mines. I may be investing in a truck in the next episode. I don't know yet. That's still to be decided. But until then. See ya.